Welcome back. In previous sessions, we learned about what are the food components, what we have to add for our diet, along with the micronutrients and micronutrients with the along with the roughages, water, how we have to add, why we have to add. So now, it's a coming for the concept of nutrition. Nutrition. What does it mean nutrition? We are doing so many activities in our daily life and as well as so many metabolic activities are going on in our body. For this we need energy. So nutrients gives energy. If you are taking in the nutrients means the proper the components which are giving energy are called nutrients. So the nutrients, if you have taken proper image, it gives us energy. So, compulsory we need to add proteins, carbohydrates, fats, roughages, water, minerals and vitamins. So, not only at a single time, we can take morning breakfast to night, dinner. Till dinner we can take any time all the food components what we require we have to fulfill in the diet. That is called balanced diet. What's it? Balanced diet. Okay, next. For nutrition, so many scientists have research in this but uh, like uh, some research still is going on. To fulfill our nutrition, we should add the nutrients to our body, to our diet. That means all the nutrients like carbohydrates, proteins, fats, minerals, vitamins and along with these beverages and water. And each component, how it is useful to our body, that also I explained in the previous classes. Now, coming for this. We have to get the energy. So by eating of by taking of nutrients we are getting. At the same time, we should avoid junk food. What is meant by junk food? Like uh, pizzas, burgers, sandwiches, ice creams. These all are under comes the junk food. So we should avoid the junk food. Why? Because this junk food is not giving the any nutrients to our body. But it gives the homes to our digestive system. So, compulsory we should avoid the junk food. And next, for nutrition, so many scientists are research in that Lavoisier is a great scientist who discovered carbon dioxide gas, which is exhaled gas, is ours. One of the scientists, James Lenn. He discovered by eating more fresh foods and fresh vegetables, we can avoid the scurvy disease. Scurvy disease. So, by researches of these many scientists, we can conclude that if you are taking the balanced diet in our diet, so if you are taken, then we can avoid some diseases. So, by eating of all these nutrients in the proper composition, we are be healthy and we are safe. And we all will get the immunity power. What is that? Not only body building, not only energy, we will get the immunity power to fight with some diseases like viral diseases and bacterial diseases also. Nowadays, uh, you have an idea for this coronavirus. Coronavirus. It's still no, it's not having any vaccine. But the doctors have suggested that if you are improved your immunity power, you are uh, you are not going to attack by this coronavirus. If you will get somewhat, even though the virus is going to be killed in your body itself by taking off like uh, some balance. Means what are the components which are needed to improve our immunity. What did we eat for lunch yesterday? Was it a burger, a pizza, a vegetable sandwich 
or just some tasty curry and rice or did you skip a meal well we all keep wondering what should we eat to be healthy and fit but don't worry in the next 5 minutes we will try to give you all a complete picture about nutrition yes you heard me right we all come across this term quite often but fail to understand the true meaning of it so without any further delay let's get started every living organism needs energy isn't that true we see animals like cows grazing in the fields then another example is that we humans have food 2 to 3 times in a day now all this food we eat is to obtain energy in the body so we can say that food is the fuel required by the body to function properly and for the living organisms to survive humans perform all the day to day activities like walking exercising playing sports dancing climbing etc by using the energy obtained from the food they eat but besides all these do you all know that the body also requires energy even when we do not perform and like say just sitting around doing nothing sleeping or meditating This is because that energy is required by the body for biological processes which continuously occur in the body like breathing or beating of the heart therefore to produce energy food is the basic requirement for everyone we as humans have a variety of food available to us to eat the most simplest form of food is glucose Your is a simplest form of food because our body can absorb glucose quickly and provide instant energy. We all know that sportsmen and athletes depend on this glucose syrup for instant energy. Also, a glucose drip is given to patients in the hospitals as they too need this instant energy. But we all know it's not a complete form of food. food has many more components which when eaten together provide us with the required energy let's see what our daily diet looks like we consume foods like rice potato and types of breads which provide energy but not as quickly as glucose these foods which is a complex form of glucose itself and this starch is ultimately broken by the body into glucose and therefore starch is absorbed at a slower rate as compared to simple glucose molecules now both these components that is glucose and starch belong to a family of carbohydrates but other than carbohydrates there are other families like proteins fats and vitamins and minerals So now let's look at the various food sources of these families. Since all the contents in these families provide energy, they are called as nutrients. When all these nutrients are present in some form in our diet in the right quantity, we call that diet to be a healthy and well-balanced diet. and the process of consuming all these nutrients and using them for the growth maintenance and repair of our body is called as nutrition but what if all these nutrients are present in an imbalanced form in an individual's diet that is if the nutrients are in insufficient quantities we say that the person is suffering from undernutrition but on the other hand what if any of these nutrients are in excess quantities we say that it's overnutrition now both these terms for an imbalanced form of nutrition in one's diet can be collectively termed as malnutrition but commonly we consider undernutrition as a major aspect of malnutrition besides this we all have heard the term deficiency 
Now, deficiency occurs if an individual fails to meet the daily requirement of only a particular nutrient. Thus, it is very important for all the nutrients to be present in a balanced quantity in our diet for a healthy and happy life. So, as promised, we did give you all the information you need about a healthy diet. But just so you know.